What's up guys, it's Alex, and today we're gonna to be talking about my small body cranking system and all the different pieces that make it up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy today's episode. So let's talk about the different pieces of my small body cranking system and we'll start with the rod I'm actually fishing a seven foot medium heavy G rod game changer cranking rod and this rod is specifically designed for fishing crankbaits and the reason for that is the combination of materials and action of the rod so this rod is actually a moderate action rod and what that means is it's going to load a lot farther down into the blank but when you load down in the blank you're shutting off to a combination of Torre carbon fiber and graphite and that allows for it to have a very powerful backbone. So even though that rod is loading up almost down to the last eye, when it does load up and it reaches the pinnacle of load, it's going to load into a very stiff backbone, which gives you a lot of power. So what that means is when you actually have a fish eat a crankbait, that modern action is going to load and unload a lot slower. So when it loads up, it allows those fish to really eat that bait. And then when you start to actually sweep into those fish it drives those treble hooks in until it hits that backbone and then it really sends those treble hooks home and it gets them stuck in that fish good and then that moderate action also allows you to play the fish a lot better so when that fish comes up tail walking and head shaking or gets next to the boat and makes a surge like a lot of big smallmouth and largemouth do that slower action is going to follow that fish a lot better so it's going to follow them under the boat and when they come up tail walking it's going to follow their head shakes which keeps those treble hooks pinned and gets a lot more fish into the boat now one of the other most important pieces is the reel itself I'm fishing a 6 8 to 1 loose custom pro and this reel I have found to be one of the best cranking reels I've ever had and the reason for that is number one that gear ratio that gear ratio allows me to have a lot of power it's a little bit lower a little bit slower which in turn results in a little more torque which allows me to get those fish turned coming towards the boat and also allows me to fish these crankbaits even though they're smaller body crankbaits it allows me to fish them a lot more efficiently and not wear me out throughout the day and then the shallower spool on that loose custom pro allows me to throw these smaller crankbaits a lot easier because when you're throwing these crankbaits you're going to be using a lot of diameter line i prefer a 10 to 12 pound copolymer and the reason for that is it allows those baits to dive to their maximum diving depth so when I've chosen the crankbait that I want whether it be a square bill a bandit a wiggle board or anything like that they're hitting that depth zone as efficiently as they possibly can so I'm covering that depth zone and staying in the strike zone a lot longer and when I'm using that smaller spool in combination with that smaller line it's just a lot easier to throw especially in windy conditions where I like to throw my crankbaits a lot another one of the most important aspects to look out for after you've chosen what kind of crankbait you're actually going to throw whether it be a square bill, a wiggle wart, a bandit, is the treble hooks that you're actually putting on that bait. For the most part, stock treble hooks that come on baits aren't very strong. I myself prefer a 2X strong EWG style treble hook. So that 2X strong is going to be a little bit heavier gauge wire. This means that those hooks aren't going to bend out on a big fish. And then when you upgrade to a little bit better brand, I prefer Gamagatsu and Mustad, you're going to have a much stickier hook. And that in combination with that little bit heavier your wire is going to allow you to drive those treble hooks in and those treble hooks aren't going to come unglued when you have a fish up next to the boat that's surging and they're not going to bend out when you have a really big fish on that's up next to the boat surging down and when you combine the treble hooks with the bait with the line with the rod with the reel it all combines into what I have here and for me this is my perfect small body cranking system. So if you guys got any questions or comments, please go leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Go check out some more of my videos. Also, go down in the description. I'll have links so you guys can go check out the rod, the reel, the line, the baits, the hooks, everything that I mentioned in today's video, you guys can go check it out. But as always, you guys are sweet, and thank you for watching.